Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victolic CPS. I'm a programmer on the Victolic Tools for Revit project. I'm also joined today by Jim Gleason. He's a draftsman who works in the CPS department here at Victolic. He's going to tell you about a tool that we've recently created uh, called the AnyConnect tool. Now this is a tool that will automatically uh, not just connect two things that are close to each other, but it'll relocate things and line up the connectors for you, which could save you a lot of time in your drafting. Hey Jim. <laughs> Hey Ricky, just a simple operation that I tend to use every day um, and the AnyConnect can really help out is when you're looking over your model just simply looking for disconnects because uh, obviously if something is disconnected then your lengths can report wrong or whatnot. So uh, all I did in this is we just have a simple little model that shows a few open connectors here uh, that's right out of Revit when you analyze and show disconnects for mechanical piping. Uh, within our in-house template that we've created that is available, we actually have what we call this quick check view that uh, helps make things a little bit uh, more visible. One thing, for example, is if a pipe length is below what we would recommend for cutting and grooving, we'll have it glow a certain color, for example, this light pink. And I can simply just kind of click and drag that out to a uh, more acceptable length, or I can adjust that in a plan view, give it a good solid number, whatever you want to. Um, but now you can just visually see that, hey, that length was a little off. But what we really want to talk about is the AnyConnect. So when you're analyzing your model, obviously open-ended pipe and things that are going to be leaving the room, that's fine. You know, someone else is going to have to connect to that. Well, we really want to look for a disconnect in our model. So just kind of quickly looking through, I notice uh, analyzing someone else's model that, you know, this suction diffuser on the pump is not connected. I can fly through and see, oh, somehow this elbow got disconnected from this coupling. And over here, there's still some issues with these pumps. It looks like our uh, flange adapter isn't yet on the, uh, the discharge, or that might be the suction side of this pump. And we're still missing <clears throat> a bit of an assembly over here. So with the AnyConnect tool, it's very simple to reconnect them. I can select our uh, operation right up here and then you select your anchor side, the side that you do not want to move. In this case, I don't want the coupling or any of this to move here, so I'm going to select the coupling, and then I'll select the elbow. Bam, the two go right together. That's pretty simple. Same thing with the suction diffuser over here. I can select the anchor being my piece of equipment. I don't want my equipment to move. And then suction diffuser. Bam, they snap right together. Um, so just really quick uh, analyzing of your model this is really nice now in a situation like this of hey someone half modeled uh, what we need for this pump I can take an assembly from over here just tabbed and copied and now I'm just going to copy this over and it really doesn't matter what location I put it into because I'm going to use the AnyConnect to properly position it hit escape I'm going to use my AnyConnect tool, and obviously what I don't want to move is this drop, so I'll select the coupling and then the pipe. Boom, whole assembly moves straight over, nothing else changes. And then I can just AnyConnect right from the pump, flange, bang, pump, flange, and that's connected. And just looking through the rest of my model, everything else is pretty, uh, pretty quick. Obviously, when you're normally doing this in Revit, you're probably going to be grabbing plan views and section views and looking at what's moving. It's a lot easier to both see your disconnects and then reconnect them using our tool. Well, it looks like a real time saver. Oh, it is. All right, well, thanks, Jim, and uh, thank you guys for watching the video.